Hey there. Thanks for tuning into my channel. I do appreciate it. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about casting streamers and casting big nymph setups like I have on here, right? I've got two nymphs. I've got a main nymph and a dropper and an indicator. If you're new to fly fishing, that is not easy to cast, right? So I want to give you a tip on how to better cast a setup like this. And it's called water loading. So what water loading is essentially, you know, if you know what false casting is, right? False casting is when you go back and forth and back and forth, and then you finally present your fly or your line. A lot of times if you do that type of casting with this type of setup, it's gonna be a tangled mess by the time you deliver it to the water. So you wanna avoid false casting these setups, especially if you're new to fly fishing, because you have to wait till everything extends out behind you before bringing it forward. Otherwise, you'll just wind up with a great big spaghetti mess in front of you. And we all know how that feels. So do something called water loading. If you do water loading to where you cast, you let everything fall in the water, then you get a nice tight line, pick it up again, and cast again. You're not doing any type of false casting at all, setting up or casting setups like this. So it really makes a big difference when casting these double nymph indicator setups. It also works for heavy streamers, right? If you're casting big heavy streamers and you're false casting, a lot of times if you bring that rod too quickly forward, you're gonna hear a snap and that's your fly snapping off the fly line because you, you basically bull whipped it behind you because you started bringing your rod forward too soon and created that whip snapping sound that breaks your fly off. So do some water loading when you're fishing streamers and you're gonna have a, a much better result. So I hope those two tips help you if you're new to fly fishing and you're fishing double nymph setups or big old streamers. I hope that helps you the next time. And hey, if you need a little help with your fly fishing cast, I put together a tutorial right here and I think I've got the right side. It may be over here, uh, one of these. Maybe I'll put two videos up there. These videos will help you cast your fly rod just a little bit better. Really easy to understand, simple techniques that you can put Put, put to use yourself to help cast that fly line just a little bit further. All right, everybody, until the next time, fish on.